Okay, in this video we are going to do an example of using the integral test on a series. So our series is going to be the sum from 2 to infinity of the natural log of n all over n squared. Um, so this is what we're dealing with. And um, so what you do is you associate a function with it, and the function is really just the nth term except you replace n with x. So the function we're going to deal with here is f of x, which is the natural log of x over x squared. Um, so for the integral test you need um, the function to be positive, continuous, and decreasing. Um, so we need to kind of confirm those things. So the first one, positive, it's definitely positive. Um, the function is definitely positive uh, because uh, x is greater than or equal to 2, so the natural log of 2 and forward would be positive, and then x squared is obviously going to be positive. So first condition is definitely satisfied. We also need continuity, but if you look at the, the function, uh, we don't have to do any work for that. The only discontinuity would be at x equals 0. x equals 0 is not from 2 to infinity, and so the function is definitely continuous. So the third one's going to require more work, because we also need the function to be decreasing, and it's not obvious if this function is decreasing or not. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to um, do this kind of calc one way. I'm going to take the derivative. So the derivative of this thing, it's a quotient, so we need the quotient rule, so it's going to be bottom, and then derivative of the top minus top and then derivative of the bottom is 2x, and then all over the bottom squared. So we get this, and then this can be simplified. So we get f prime of x is just 1 minus 2 natural log of x all over x cubed. Um, so we need to know where this is equal to 0. It's undefined at 0, but 0 is an endpoint of the domain. Um, so we don't really need to worry about that, because we're going from 2 to infinity. So let's see. So f prime of x equals 0 means that the numerator equals 0, so 1 minus 2 natural log of x equals 0. Um, so that means that the natural log of x equals 1 half. And if the natural log of x is 1 half, that means that x is equal to e to the 1 half. Um, and so now we need to figure out what's going on. Well, e to the 1 half is definitely less than 3 to the 1 half. And I know that 3 to the 1 half is definitely less than 2. So um, what I can do is I can make a number line. If I can figure out what's happening uh, to the right of e to the 1 half, that's going to be what's happening with the function from 2 to infinity. So uh, let's see if we can figure that out. So I need to test a point. I really only need to the right. So I'm going to test a very large number. So I'm going to test 1 million. Um, so there's no reason it has a number that's close to e to the one half when there's there's not another critical point. So if we go with a million, um, we get one minus two times the natural log of a million, which is definitely going to give you a negative number overall, and then divided by a positive. So that's going to be negative overall. So our number line tells us that um, we can confidently say that f of x is decreasing um, from two to infinity, or for x greater than or equal to two. Okay. So it meets the three conditions, so now we're going to use the integral test. So we're going to take the integral and see what happens. So instead of getting bogged down in all the notation, what I'm going to do is um, I am going to uh, just do an indefinite integral, kind of get a formula for the antiderivative, and then I'll go back and do the problem uh, using that. So I'm going to do this indefinite integral. So you look at it, and uh, this one has just right away kind of the feel of integration by parts, that natural log in the numerator there, and then the x squared in the denominator. There's nothing really easy jumping out at me, so I'm going to do integration by parts. So I need a u. I'm going to pick u to be the natural log of x, because I'd rather take the derivative of that than find the antiderivative of that. Um, and then dv would be everything that's left over. So 1 over x squared dx. And now I find du is going to be 1 over x dx, and v is going to be the antiderivative of x, um, well, 1 over x squared, but I think of it as x to the negative second, so plus 1 times the reciprocal gives me negative x to the negative first, which we can write as negative 1 over x. Okay, so I have that. Got to remember that integration by parts is um, u times v, so I get this, and then minus the integral of v du, so we get this, and um, this you can kind of clean up a little bit, like not so much, um, but it's useful to clean up the integral. So now I have uh, the negative natural log of x over x plus the integral of x to the negative second, 
which I already know how to integrate. I mean, I just integrated it. So I get this. And then I'm throwing in plus C because I did an integral. So uh, this is the antiderivative of the natural log of x over x squared. So I can use that. So what I now need to do is I need to do the improper integral from 2 to infinity because that's really what the integral test says. If this integral converges, then the summation converges. Um, if this diverges, then the summation diverges because it met all the criteria for applying the integral test. So this I know, well, this is all notation. So uh, the notation is you have to change it to a limit because you shouldn't have the upper bound really be infinity if you're actually doing the work. Some people don't like that, but we don't really have a choice about it. Um, so it's this. This I can rewrite because I already did the antiderivative on the previous slide. So I'm just replacing, I'm actually doing, I'm, I'm replacing the integral with the antiderivative. Um, so we get this. I'm going to substitute b, and I'm going to substitute 2. So substituting b in everywhere I see an x is going to give me this. I don't know why I did um, squared there. Let me, let me fix that guy. Go away. There we go. That wasn't supposed to be there. So we have this, and then I'm going to uh, substitute in 2. So I have this. And um, if you look at that limit, it's natural log of b over b. You could use L'Hopital's on that because you have infinity over infinity, really negative infinity over infinity. Um, but if you think about relative growth rates, natural log grows much more slowly than just um, a linear. And so that's going to be 0, and then 1 over infinity is 0. So this whole thing just works out to um, the natural log of 2 over 2 plus 1 half, um, distributing the negative sign. Okay, so now we're ready to just write our conclusion. So we can say, so since the improper integral converges, so I gotta take a second and write that. So this converges, we know that the summation from two to infinity natural log of n over n squared converges um, by the integral test. So we met the requirements, we applied the test, and we met our conclusion. Um, so that's an example where the antiderivative is probably by far the hardest part. Um, I hope you found this helpful, and good luck.